hi guys welcome to this video this is going to be very interesting and important video because i'm going to talk about top notch and best extensions out there in vs code if you are a front-end developer or a back-end developer using javascript python node or any programming language these extensions will help you improving speeding up your code collaborating with your team members in a project testing and debugging of your code and finally i will talk about an extension that will help you and guide you in writing your code so let's get started with the first one all right so first one is this ngrock go ahead and install in your vs code so it helps you convert your local host into public web address so let's say that i have opened up this next js 13 project in my vs code and this project is running on local host 3000 and if i show you this in the browser and if i refresh then it is running on the local host 3000 and if you want to share this url with your team who is working remotely with your company or with your client or with the quality assurance engineer so they can test your changes quickly so you don't need to actually deploy it on a server so they can test it it will take quite a time so ngrock converts your local host into public web address within seconds so first what you need to do is to sign up with your account on the website ngrock.com and go to its dashboard and when you will reach to its setup and installation page it will give you an auth token so we can actually go to your auth token and we need to copy this auth token and let's go to vs code and open up this command window by going to view command palette or by just clicking or pressing shift command p so it will open up this and uh, here i can write ng rock and it will give me an option set auth token and when i will press enter i need to paste my auth token over here and hit enter and my auth token will be added in the ng rock extension of my vs code all right so now let's create a public url for my Next.js app which is running on localhost 3000 and i'm going to create a new terminal here here I will write ngrock HTTP and I will write localhost colon 3000 and I will hit enter it will automatically detect that the localhost 3000 is running in my system and I can run more than one tunnels using ngrock in my system if my multiple projects are running uh, on multiple ports so this is the URL it has created now let's copy this URL and I'm going to paste it in my browser so let's go ahead and paste it over here and it will ask me to verify and make sure to be careful and I'll click on the visit site and this is my local host 3000 site and this is the public URL which I can share with my client my colleagues a QA engineer to test my changes and this is the quickest way to actually make uh, your website which is running locally make it public and share it with your friends or client okay so this is a free version which I'm using if you want the paid versions you can check out this pricing page of ngrock and this is an awesome tool to work with so this is the next extension console ninja so it outputs the data of your console logs in your vs code at runtime so you don't need to go ahead and open up the console window of your browser to see the output of all of your console logs so to test this let me open up one of the component of nextjs 13 and this is the client component means it will show the output on the client side means on this console window okay so now what happens is usually we get the data from apis which we need to test that what data is coming back from the api and we write down console log statements to test that data okay but since in this small app i don't have that api call being made so let's create the data which i'm creating directly so i'll be adding an id and then the title equals to something like this okay so after this i will add my console log data now when i save this file since nextjs 13 automatically reruns and rebuild itself that's why it automatically showed the output over here you can see that how awesome is this that we don't need to go to the browser to test this and if i go to the browser it automatically reloaded because since it is a nextjs 13 project and it is also showing the output over here 
right so when we have to write a lot of console log statements in our code in multiple components and multiple console log statements in one file actually then it really helps that when we save the file the server restarts again then we see the output directly over here that's so cool but if you are building a project on a technology that does not refreshes or restarts the server itself by saving the file you need to go ahead and run the project and refresh this page on the browser in order to see the console log output so next extension is prettier code formatter you might already know this this is one of the most famous extensions out there for the vs code i'll let you know how you can use it properly and configure it in vs code so let's say that if i open up any component let's say page.jsx and uh, if i just mess up the layout and the structure of my code and add some extra spaces and it is not currently looking good okay so something like this so when you will install this extension you need to right click and format document with and it will show you this prettier code formatter and if you click on it it will be automatically structure your code and it can work with the javascript html css uh, react angular or any other famous language right but what if i want to format it my code once i save my file so let's say that i have made some changes and if i save this file it automatically detects the issues in it in terms of formatting and indentation and automatically fix it so once you install prettier i'll go to the code and go to the settings and go to the settings tab and here i will go to the text editor formatting and from here i need to check this format on save and just check it and once you will check that it will be enabled and when there is something wrong in any file let's say i'm just going to save this and it will be automatically formatted and it really saves my time for formatting my code and it is really awesome extension and next extension is very important called git history and if you are a programmer obviously you will be using git and it is also one of the most famous extension out there and it has a quite a good rating so it really helps us debug our code if we are working in a team and we want to check who made changes in which file in which line and it on runtime if i hover on a particular line and it shows me that this particular person actually pushed some changes in this file and this is the information it is showing me that this commit included all these files and when these changes were made and if i want to see more information i can right click and just see the view file history and the view line history using this extension and uh, it really quickly helps us to actually debug our code if something goes wrong in production and i need to debug that who made some changes if i made some changes in it when that production build was right and when it got wrong so i can use this extension to debug my code and revert back my changes and make the production working fine so you can check out this extension and go through its various features so the last one is my favorite which is called tab 9 ai auto completion for javascript and python and it works with all the libraries and frameworks of javascript and python so what it does is it helps you write your code it can be react angular node express python django even the html css or the jsx or tsx or any javascript and python library or framework so let me give you an example how you can use it so here is the component of nextjs 13 so let's say that i don't want to make change in the jsx i need to create an object so let's say that i'm creating an array of object and i'll be creating the first object and in this first object it has suggested me some kind of data which uh, might be right which might not be right because i have not created a single object so it is suggesting me few stuff but i don't want to select it let's add few data in it so name equals to name one and then i'll be writing the description equals to description one so it has detected that since the name value i've given is the name one so there is a chance that i give the value description one so it might be right it might not be right but it has detected through its ai capabilities that what i might be writing so let's select it what is mentioned over here so let's add a equal to sign 
and I'm going to create a second object now and I'm going to create a second object and here you can see that it has detected that what values I gave to the first object and what values I'll be giving in the second object since I've given one name one and description one and it has automatically detected and suggested me I'll hit tab and I will be able to select this suggestion by tab 9 AI auto completion extension which I'm using and I'm using the free version of it and it has a paid version with more features more capabilities you can check that out and this extension is the one I use a lot it helps me write my 30 to 40 percent of my code whether it is react angular next.js or even on the back end node express mongodb and it helps me writing code and suggesting me sometimes it gives me a 50 percent of code right which I select and make some changes in it and it actually needs to analyze your code previous code and the next code and gives you some suggestions make sure you install this extension it is an awesome tool to work with so that's pretty much it for this video if you have liked my video make sure you hit the like button and do subscribe my channel and comment below if you have any question for more learning check out my channel for more tutorials on javascript react angular node and a lot more technologies thank you so much for watching see you in the next video